God, this place looks like hell in a jungle. Ugh, escalation names, man. Just, just, just bless him. Bless him. The Macmillan, sir. Surreptition. 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 No, surreptition. I was right the first time. Good morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and servant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico is he a target runs then? a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado Logistics Network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. <laughs> so, super coke. Of most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. So Rico Delgado is a target. <laughs> In the last video, I said he wasn't. I'd googled Delgados after the last video. In Miami, and the only thing that came up was Andrea Martinez and a bunch of other Delgados, but Rico Delgado didn't even come up at all. Not as a target, not as anything. Welcome to Colombia, forty-seven. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Epic. I never knew that South America looked so lovely. Should I follow an opportunity? Uh, yes. He was in Sapienza. What? Oh, I'll go this one. A hundred meters. Are you serious? Good lord, how am I meant to get in here? I'm not, actually. Door knocker. Um, uh, no. There'll be some way to get in here. That's very loud. Yeah, look. A vine. What's all this away? There has to be. Silent Assassin suit only wouldn't be possible. Damn, this place looks decent. Kind of looks like the consulate in Marrakesh. Right, he's blind. You know, she isn't, she isn't, she isn't, she isn't. Oh, God.
can't even hear them. Right, but the camera only gets that bit, so I can. Ah. Oh. Okay. Right, you move. You. There. Back where you were. Good. Although I, I anticipated that there would be a drawer here. Oh, there is. Sort of. Yeah, the camera spotted me. Right. Uh, there was a staircase right here! You, come here. Oh, for the love of God. Someone saw. You know what? You better have saved of some sort. Auto save. About ten newborn babies later. There we go. Good. It did. Wow, that's lucky. Jesus. Oh, fuck. I'm sure this will be a fun mission. Just as that door closed. Just. Oh, hoo -hoo. ninja over here. Jumped down before Hector saw me, busted my leg in the fall. Why, why did you take the letter? You could have just kept it there. And if I wrote a love letter, then I wouldn't like someone to take it. Oh, he smokes. Maybe I can... That's, that's not smoking. I was going to say maybe I could poison it, but it's cocaine. I understand you have a certain letter in your possession. Yeah. So what? I'm giving you a chance here, man. Don't turn it down. You'd think he'd be somewhat aware that I'm following him. <laughs> Look the other way. <laughs> Come on. That's that. Oh, I did it. Yes. Oh, we didn't see him. Turn it off, come on. Thank you. And the letter. Deliver the letter to Martinez compound. Go, go, go. Eventful. Oh look. So my friend, you want to look inside my troll tube, huh? Alright, alright. I'll give you door. <sighs> Jesus. He's got his own mug shot. God, that that's a painting. Uncle Fernando's chat. Do you know the Oh Fernando? Uh, third person's a bit. Established a roof Listen. in my empire. A Chilean cartel based in his vineyard. Until one day, when someone came along and killed them. Oh, and the authorities come to their freak accident. <laughs> Liars. All of them. I will have my revenge. One day I will meet the man who killed my uncle and blood will be spilled. You will, but it won't be his blood. <laughs> 163 meters. While I'm here, should I just try kill these two? Yeah, it's cool how they're referencing stuff that happened in other games. He played the cello. I remember. Because, what was it? There was, in the legacy cutscene, in Hitman 1, uh, they showed you killing Delgado with the cello in his hand while he was playing it. Same thing with, like, the guy with the harp. Or whatever. I got the. I get them confused. I think it was the guy with the heart. I don't know. That might have actually. I don't even know if that happened. There was this one thing. It was a violin. No. 
There was this. I'm gonna Google it. That's annoying me. Yeah. No, it was Delgado, but the cello. Well, what, who else was I thinking of? Huh? I swear to God, that there was a guy with like a harp or something. Maybe it was just because uh, no, the way the cello is played confused me. Right. Well, it doesn't matter. Time to kill his nephew. I like how I fill uh, space with nonsensical words. I always say that because people are nonsensical. Sensical. Sensible, like non-sensible. Doesn't sound right. Can you drop? Oh, you can, you can, good. Are you completely alone in here? Of course he isn't. Oh, that's Hector. That's Hector. That forehead. Oh. I can just give him the letter. I believe this is yours. My letter? You found it. You have no idea how long I've been looking for this. You know what? Take it. Thank you. So now I just need to follow Hector. What did he give me? Oh. So I got a combination for the safe, whatever that is. Is that what he gave me? It must have been, yeah, because he walked over there and interrupted his normal path. Oh, you can see the sweat on the clothes. That's not even 47 sweat, that's someone else's sweat. I doubt 47 even sweats at all. He's probably evolved past that. Doesn't even pant either, it's like a dog. He just accepts it and moves on. I never realized how dumb it looks, how I move, until you see it in a security camera. Remember that there are Sorry. Remember that therapy. She is her own person. Why do you need therapy please, to know that she's her own person? Can I, can I leave? You Sorry? The drug addiction, the killing sprees, and the other women. Okay. You'd think he'd have, like, a security guard. I mean, I know I'm a security guard, but I'm not meant to be here. I'm just following him. You'd think he'd take a back path, at least. This is Columbia man. You're the biggest drug leader at... Well, the biggest drug leader's brother. And you also are known for having the biggest forehead in human history. Genuinely, did, is that, like, a graphical error? Did they actually mean to do that? Miss Martinez is inside, Mr. Delgado, but she's left strict okay, instructions. Let she uh, doesn't want to see it. Let's all go to Dr. Jeff. Will That's not a good way to go about things. That is Andrea Martinez, the Delgado Cartel PR officer and public yeah. face. You look beautiful. Oh, what do you want, Hector? You shouldn't have your arms crossed if you want to talk to her in a letters. You didn't reply to any of them. Friendly way. He meant something. It was just a fling, Hector. I can't blame that, but it's not true. You know that. We share something special. I know I was. Please, por favor. I made little mistakes, but I have changed. Andrea. Sleeping with the Gomez twins was a little mistake, Hector? Well, it was a mistake. It might not have been I will not let you back into my personal life. You need to leave. I will not let you treat me like this, Andrea. I demand respect. I will not let you go. Don't confuse me with your other women, Hector. I am not your possession. I make my own decisions in life. Please read the letter, Andrea. At least give me that much respect. Fine. Give me the letter and get the hell out of here, Hector. Well done, for You don't even have pockets. This should be good. Am I allowed in? Alright, I'm here now, hello. That's a interesting shirt. Not only because it's basically like, it, it's it's basically unbuttoned, but, God, how do I do this? But also just the texture. Oh. I need to, I need, I can, mate! Oh, 
Martinez is down. Yeah, I saw. Oh, there's piranhas. I want to read the letter. What does it say? To my sweetest Andrea, I have returned from rehab. <laughs> rehab a change man. A wonderful soul training night of passion prompting me to embark on my journey to rid my life of evils. Huh. So we can be together forever. I promise you that the wild days, the drugs and the killings are all gone. I await you returned my embrace ready to face the future by your side. Love, Hector. How romantic. Now, how do I... Oh, I did it. Uh... Right. Oh, he's still here. You didn't leave. Why? That's not how you handle things, Hector. What would I know? <laughs> okay. Sabotage Delgado's statue. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I know. Oh, God almighty. There was no indication that I'm not allowed up there. They need, like, areas. Different coloured areas on the map. Why, why, do, why do I even care? I'm not going to get, like, what's the point? I'm not going to get silent assassin suit only. My love. Oh, come on! And in the bush. You know, Hitman's a strange game. But never have I just dragged a pair of legs across the ground. Why Why is my character's body invisible? So is the hat head. I'm just trousers. The hell? I didn't push that too far at all. Shut up. Aw. Oh, but it told me I need a wrench. Just the hand. Oh, God! You lads know where I can find a wrench. Crowbar. Screwdriver. Everything other than a wrench. Even a pair of scissors. <laughs> Why did I just run away? Yes! Okay, I got one. I only had to circle the entire town. Three missing band members. How the hell am I meant to find them? Alright. So, one of them's in the spawn. He should be sleeping on a bench. There's no one you can sleep in. Right, fine, I'll try to get the second. The one you... That. The hell's the petrol station? I can't... I, I can't read that. Is this a petrol station? Yeah, no, petrol. There. Then where is he? No, apparently this is the wrong petrol station. Oh. Oh. They just appeared. Turn on the faucet. See if that wakes him up. Yeah, get up. Maybe this is how you guys' attention. He's supposedly in this building, but the only person that's in this building are these two. And if it's not him, like, hmm. No, this is the drummer. You are the drummer. Generator. I'll get him. You'd think you'd have to do this. Oh, th this is him. Jesus Christ. Is he like dead? Hopefully, this works. If he blows up, it's not my fault. Oh no! Why does he not show up? Wait, is he dead? Jesus Christ! Di oh, Christ! Oh, for the love of God, actually keep the power off this time. Someone just died. What if it was, you know, an accident? Do I have to disguise myself as him? Okay, I do. Hi, I realise you don't recognise me, but the other guy's dead. Join the band. It's always the drums. Play the drums. Funny how everybody else here is, like, South American. I'm just the whitest man ever. Why do you have an option to push the statue? 
Poetic justice coming up. I was thinking that. So you get on and die already. You know. <laughs> okay. Do you care though? Of course it's me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh well, he actually left. Has he been in there that long? Seriously. Ah, and off we go. Is this. They're taking selfies. Oh, look who it is! Hernan. Whatever his name was. Oh, Hector. Oz. <laughs> I know who that is. I've been like smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? So I need to get it to this dude, uh, Franco. But man, it it broke. So, a drug dealer from Sapienza has been using <laughs> a new method for smuggling. It's, it is him. Brand. It is the guy from Sapienza. Together. Cocaine souvenir. God. Glue. Poison. Now we need to find some glue. Oh, you just buy glue. I'd like to buy some glue, please. No, I'm afraid we just ran out of that item, senor. I sold the last bottle to the mechanic next door. Thanks for telling me. Do you sell glue? A la puta. What? Mate, I will take the glue forcibly. <laughs> Why was that funny? Sorry, pal, but I really need the glue. Um, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Glue fixes it. That's my personal but in my plan the kind of abuse right now. You know, it's part of the risk of coming at this Hey, Listen, La Bunga is good. You have any glue? No. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it figures. Mm, his feet will be really muddy. Ooh. Eh. Mm. Right, go somewhere conveniently secluded. Please don't. Please don't. Well, no, he can be a test. Oh no, he's almost gone. Wow. <laughs> Look how his voice changes completely. Do me a favor and go check that out, okay? The way he falls. Hmm. Need that. I'm gonna Damn it. search you. If you seem nervous. You got something to hide? Do I seem nervous? I think you're making that up. Look at my Damn eyes. Right. Stare into my eyes. All right. Pussy. Mr. Frank. Interesting to see how many of you backpacking types are willing to bend your morals for a little cash. Peace and love isn't really my thing. All right, come with me. Try not to get lost, okay? Life is kind of dangerous. There he is. Little shorts. Go down. Bring it home, Dario. <clears throat> Hello. It got through customs without a problem, we hope. I had no issue. Excellent. We're not sure whether this will pass the taste test, but that remains to be seen. Follow us, please. Hello there. Hello. Taste test. Nice one, forty-seven. And now for Franco to sign. Oh, it's poisoned. I forgot. Tasting cocaine. Is that normal? Okay. Yeah, nice. Huh? Okay. And there he goes. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, forty-seven. Now head for an exit. I think I got lost. Yeah. Where am I? Hmm. An underground cave system with a submarine. This must be what, what ties the militia and the cartel together, 47. How, 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 did, how did I get here? This is where he just died. I came in through here. This way. I'm out good. This is good. Exciting. That was relatively decent, I suppose. 
You've seen the cutscene now. Hoo hoo, exciting. Well, if you care, of course. I do. Mission stated. Columbia assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. source checks out we can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks we'll have grounds for a retrial it won't make a difference they're too powerful they're not the devil nancy just the company they're not above the law don't you see this is bigger than james those bastards killed 80 people and they got away with it think about what that no one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! what we came for. Move out. Insanity. It doesn't reveal as much about the story as the last cutscene, but still, damn. I turned back on the audio, and it, I don't know if it cut something. It might have. Which would be brilliant if it did. I swear to God, if that bastard cut even a second of the cutscene, it would just destroy it. it would completely break the flow. No, that would annoy me. I don't know if it did, though. I would, even. You know, I'm going to go find out. Bye.